Hello everyone, Matthew97657 here, and today we are back with yet another figure unboxing and review. So, with that, nothing more to it than to get on right on into it. So, as you have, guys have seen from our latest videos, uh, it's been kind of different from what we usually do, right? We had the uh, All Monsters Attack kind of review, and then the uh, Pokemon plushies and the Godzilla Store video. So, we kind of haven't had a straight figure review in a good while, so... Uh, if anything, if we had had one, it's just been a recorded video from almost a year ago. Um, but alas, we are now back with some of our newer things that have came out. And as the title and thumbnail suggest, this is going to be the Godzilla vs. Hedorah, Hedorah, uh, SH Monster Arts from SH Monster Arts, right? So let's go ahead and get on right on in here. Is our shipping box. Um, this is kind of the usual, right, Tamashii Nation's box I like to use. And so this is, right, it says Hedora 50th, SH Monster Art. So, I mean, there's nothing of real value out of this box, at least to me. Um, so we're just going to keep on going. And I am angling the camera a little bit more up, especially with the uh, Pokemon plushies video. I realized that I'm always struggling with, like, height, like, monsters or things with height so i'm just angling it up so it might look a little different i think it looks good there but we're just going to keep rolling with it and as we can see kaboom hedora <laughs> what an odd noise i don't think i've ever had a box make a sound like that but here it is here is our box here hedora 50th anniversary we got the little stamp here um, and there he is, the 71 Hedorah. Oh, in classic Monster Arts box style, has a bunch of promotional stock images of the figure. And it's in this very nice packaging as well. So I think this looks great. I think I like the kind of like swirls they're going with there. Kind of like what you see in the like intro to the movie and stuff like that. So we're just going to keep going. So no stops ahead all right and here we are at the actual figure it's gonna put that right there for y'all to get a good look all it does is it comes with a little instruction manual which i guess i'll keep here and then the box is empty as well so very very cool stuff to see and now here i go Nice and easy. All right, very clean there. And so we do have, just off first glance, this is, oh wow. It's actually insanely cool to have this as a, as a figure. This is uh, the Hedorah flying form, as you see in the film. I think this is second stage, uh, second or third stage, but uh, as you can see, right, very nice looking uh, detail on this guy. His eyes look great. And just the overall mold, you can see some of those crevices on the body and stuff like that. So it's not like a, just a flat like pancake type of deal. Like there, you know, there's like divots in like the skin, if you want to call it that. And then on the edges, it's kind of stylized, giving that like just amalgamation of like things. And then on the bottom here, I guess that's where his hands are. I really don't know too much about the, the Hedora forms. I mean, I just, you know, just kind of, I think they're really cool though. But I just love the paint job on the eyes there. Hedora eyes look great. They look absolutely great. So that's the flying form there. Looks like this is the tadpole version. Like this is kind of like the first thing that we see. Well, in a sense. Right? The nice little tadpole version. And then the final form with his leg off. Set that nicely down, and boom. He, his leg did come off in the packaging, which is kind of funny. So yeah, we got all of that there. Very nice looking stuff. And then these are some of the accessories that are included for the forms. All right, looks like we got a good amount of things, so. 
Ah, I see. So I was actually worried that this would eventually happen to me, but it looks like, and this is good that I'm documenting this, it looks like our uh, leg joint just completely snapped off there. As you see, I'm unboxing this live. There's no cuts as of yet, but you can see the joint in there. It just kind of came off. So how that is going to be fixed, who knows? I really don't know how I'm going to fix this. And I really don't want to stop because I'm just I'm moving the ball rolling. So we're going to keep him there for now. Eventually, I will get him, though. And so we have some of our other things going on here. Okay, and then the instructions are seem pretty simple. It looks like for our flying form, this little piece here is for him. And it looks like we just set it in like that, maybe? Like this. Maybe it goes in there. I'm not sure. It's a learning process here. So it looks like we got this longer piece with this base here. I think it wants this base. there we are and then I guess like no I'm not really I'm not really sure here ah I see I see so it wants us to actually put in the piece there as we can see, and I'll, I'll kind of let the shade not get, get in there. It wants to put the piece in the actual like slot, as you can see there. So put that there. And I mean, just like that, it's really simple for the flying form. So that's really cool. I really like that there. Let's see. And then for this form, it's a little different. It looks like you can detach the headpiece. Yep. So you can have like a little form like that. Right. And then it wants it on this piece here, which is actually a little bit themed and stylized for Hedora there. And that one I think seems simple enough. This one is like, I think this is a tadpole, and I think I'm getting them misunderstood here, right? Just that little piece there. So, very cool. And then if you want it in this form, it's very simple, like that. And then you attach this piece and it says match mounting shape. So it looks like it's going to be specific. Like this? No. Ah, like that. Like that there. It says match mounting shape, but it fits on pretty nicely. So there he is in this kind of larger form. So this uh obviously the accessories are awesome right they look very nice and stuff especially the flying form i think this one so far has been my favorite <laughs> this big one i mean i guess i can't really say much because i have received a defective product um but that's not going to stop us we're going to keep going uh we're going to get some of the articulation in and then i'm going to get provide my thoughts as, on it as well so uh we're not going to let this little uh hiccup ruin the entire review even though i guess it kind of should right yeah i don't know we'll go on with one legged hedora so we have our headpiece here right it's got uh, it's got another little piece right in there so these two are look separate but they look together but they are separate from what i'm moving 
Uh, I don't believe there's any neck articulation. There's maybe just a little bit. There's this kind of piece that I was separating from earlier. The body, it looks like it's in three pieces. So we have the head, the kind of ab and chest, and then the legs, the arms. Okay, now he's actually acting, he's actually like being sludge-like. He's falling apart on me. Hmm. This one, oh, I see. This one's kind of hard to get. Oh. So I got that back in there, I think. Articulation-wise, we have our hands and then the arm. It looks like there is two pieces. We have a piece right here and a piece up here. So it looks like that. Hand fell off there. It's kind of got that nasty yellowness to it. That like must musty green and yellow, which looks nice, actually, if you can get the hand all the way up. We see it across the body there, our on the underarm. <sighs> okay, he's making it easy for us. So, right hand, arm, which is kind of hard, right? Arm piece, a full 360. And then obviously this piece, which I guess he would classify as his elbow. And then, as you can see, he's kind of has these like soft vinyl pieces there. This in itself is a piece which can come off. We saw it on the other side. And then the legs, oh man, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. We're pushing boundaries here. So full 360 there. And then I guess I could just use this. And then it looks like we have two pieces, right? There's the foot and then the actual leg as well. And then obviously this joint, which connects, which I, you would say is knee all the way to his thighs. Okay. And then this back piece, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's just all one giant piece of vinyl, which can kind of go down and then not really come up, but it just kind of sits there. So uh, tail here, we have one piece. We have a two piece, three, four, five, six. So we got the little piece there. This next piece, this next piece, which puts it to three, four, and then this is five, and then right in there is six. It's kind of it's kind of hard to see there, but that that would make it six. So yeah, that is <laughs> this is our Hedora, as you guys can see. This is completely unedited. Uh, we went through as I received it. Very unfortunate to see that we have one that is broken. Trying to see what this is here. Hmm. This piece just came off, but I'm not really sure where it goes. But yeah. Is it here? I want to say it's there. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, obviously, this is not like an ideal review. It's just rather unfortunate that it had to come in like this. But you know, I guess I guess I was due for one, right? I guess if we want to phrase it like that. So I think that's the arm there. And then this piece, ah, it's right in the middle. And then this one, this piece goes in the underarm. What, what an odd spot to put it, but at least it goes in semi nicely. Or not, so now I'm kind of scuffing it. It's no good. Okay, I think I got it back in. Yeah, so I mean, I really can't do much about the leg. I'm probably going to s try and see if I can get some form of replacement on it. I mean, he looks fine there, but his leg obviously, as we can tell from the review, is it's not supposed to be. Actually, that looks fine, but nonetheless, it's inexcusable to have a product break like that. But you know, it happens. I guess maybe they're a ref on shipping or the product was just meant to be like that, I guess. Whatever, right? I'm not going to complain too much about it. I'm just going to see what I can do, and then maybe I'll update y'all on what happened. But overall, like, 
if that wouldn't have been a thing, I think this is a pretty good figure. Uh, the articulation is very nice for how convoluted Hedorah is, right? He's composed of smog, you know, and liquid. It's kind of hard to translate that into like an articulated figure. But I think for the most part that they did a pretty good job on it. Uh, just some of the parts that are falling off. Uh, maybe a little too realistic they were going with there. But uh, maybe the parts that were falling off it was kind of hard to design on that, you know, idea. But the flying form and then our little tadpole form here, very nice accessories. I think this guy came out to like 170 so was it worth it? It's kind of a heavy price for uh, Monster Arts, honestly. Um, I think anything above like 150 is pushing it for Monster Arts. Um, I think this guy is the star, of the, the star of the show. He's actually pretty heavy, too. Our little fine form is the star of the show here. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go see what we can do about this. Um, I'll do a quick, very, very fast um, comparison, size comparison, and then we'll go ahead and call it. So this is the um, Movie Monster Series Hedorah from 2005 or 2006. It's not the, the reissue that they made. It's a different one, but as you can see, right, this one's a lot more, like, excuse me, matted colors, and this one's kind of glossier. So it's kind of like, take your pick, right? A little bit more, a uh, better job of the paint apps, if maybe, maybe like on suit accuracy. This one's kind of more just like a blemish. And then some nice paint details on the tail. Very nice, obviously no articulation. And then uh, this is the 69 Godzilla. I don't have a 71 suit figure from I want to say the memorial box and plus I don't even make a lot of 71 figures of Godzilla and Bandai wise so this is the best I've got so I'm just gonna keep going all right very nice and then lastly we do have just this one I just threw in for fun this was the limited uh Bandai movie monster series for the 50th anniversary of the film, which was pretty much why this guy kind of got a figure, I believe, they put on the box. But I mean, we were due for one, so it's pretty cool to see him like this. But yes, that is going to wrap up the video here. Um, if you just stay for the review, this is pretty much the end of it. So the next part will just be me kind of just talking about, you know, some of the things probably a little bit more in depth then I would want to cover in the review. So if you have stuck around till here in the base review, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. So uh, you guys have yourselves a great day. Uh, click off if you are uh, ready to leave the video. But if you're here, I want to say, while this is very disappointing, I have been seeing uh, on this guy and the uh, Monster X, we've, we've been starting to see a little bit of a... Uh, a quality control issue with these i mean it's always been like a thing with monster arts i believe where joints will put like snap i've never had this happen to me before but um i think i've been seeing it rise a little bit more uh like with jet jaguar as well like the plastic that was kind of breaking so uh, i'm not really sure what's going on over there tamashi nations or bluefin or monster arts but um hopefully they kind of you know uh tighten up on the quality control issues that are happening especially like on this front because it's like this is you know detrimental like you right it's it's whatever i'm going to see what i can do about it uh but i mean besides that i think it's a, a pretty cool figure to add to any collection especially if you're a fan of adora with the 50th anniversary just passing by not too long ago Maybe we'll see Gigan uh, get a monster. It's the the ninety two or the seventy two. Maybe we'll see him him get a a monster arts figure for his anniversary. But come on, come on. I think I'm gonna do this right. There we go. Hopefully, we see a seventy two. Gigan, I think that would be awesome. And then, honestly, probably some Showa Godzillas. We only really have, like, 
three, four, I think four or five Showa Godzillas. And they're all differentiated, obviously, from like these. So it's kind of hard to pair them up with other monster arts figures. You would have to have like a Bandai or maybe a Marmot figure or something like that. But uh, yes, that is going to, uh, con I know it was very short, but that's going to conclude this whole video i just kind of wanted to get uh like an actual um uh, extended review if you will there are some figures i think that are coming out but um realistically i'm not really too i don't want to say excited but i'm not really on the jump is them i mean i'm kind of already caught up on a lot of the things i want for uh godzilla i'm really just kind of waiting on some of the things that you know they will bring out eventually so i did see that uh i think the mecha king Ghidorah reissue with the broken wings i really do want it i'm not sure if i'm going to spend it just for uh you know another Me mecha king Ghidorah because i already have the original release but maybe if it's on sale maybe i'll go ahead and try and see if i deem it worthy but to those who do not have it i think it's a pretty worth um purchase there especially if you're a fan of that film and suit it's a very beautiful uh suit but yeah that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this one this was the 1971 sh monster arts hedora review unfortunately we did have a little bit of a quality control issue but uh with that that didn't bring us down from our review so uh, with that, like I always keep saying, thank you so much for watching. I really can't thank you guys enough. Let me know what you guys think of this figure. Did you guys pick him up? Did you guys, guys skip out on him? I think the next one we have is the Singular Point Rodan, and then the Monster X, and then the Mecha King Adora. And then since I ordered from the premium Bandai site for the Kong exclusive, that won't be here until like March of next year. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of whatever, but we'll get there. We'll get there eventually, right? So uh, ultimately with everything, you guys have yourselves a great day. See ya.